Hey everyone, my name is Ben and you're listening to A Daily Dose of English. This is a short, simple podcast that you can listen to every day to improve your English. You can find the transcripts for all episodes and more on benslanguagelab.com. I'm glad you can make it today. In this episode, we're going to be talking about CrossFit. CrossFit is a type of uh, like a workout thing, gym style of, of getting exercise. I actually don't even know the, the good definition. CrossFit definition. Um, let's see what it actually is supposed to be. Um, it's a, so it, it's here it says it's a branded fitness regime that involves consistently varied functional movements at high intensity. Um, and that, I think that's a pretty good um, explanation because it the idea is that there are you can do it anywhere in the world, um, but there is a a core idea behind it, and um, like everybody that any CrossFit place in the world is going to be very very similar in what it does, um, even if it's not exactly the same where there's not exactly the same things but it's not like a normal gym because at a normal gym you just have machines and any ever there's, there's hundreds of thousands of gyms in the world but they might be completely different they might have completely different ways of functioning of working different kinds of workouts different recommendations different coaches everything is very very different in basically all the gyms but in pretty much any crossfit uh gym that you go to there's a, a lot of the exact same fundamentals the same ideas the same movements um potentially even this this similar workouts which i'll talk about in a second um, i'm talking about crossfit because i started doing crossfit about something like two months ago i don't know exactly but i think about two months ago um, because it happens to be a very close gym to my house and i wasn't really enjoying the normal gym um, there, there is a regular just gym with weights and stuff close, but it is kind of dirty. It's pretty small and like it gets very busy and, and full of people. And I don't like the music very much cause it never changes. And there are several, uh, guys there that do like competitive lifting and they very frequently are there like dropping weights and stuff. And it's just very, it's not a great place to be. Um, and so I looked into the CrossFit gym um, actually, I went there originally because I thought they had um, jujitsu because I really wanted to do jujitsu ju again and do that. But uh, and on their website, they used to have jujitsu, but they are really bad at updating their all that stuff. Um, so I went and I figured out that they only have CrossFit and they were offering a good uh, trial plan. You can do three classes for free. So I was like, OK, I'll do some classes. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and I like that it's in the morning. It is an hour long. It is hard. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good, it's a really good workout. Um, there's a good, a bunch of people that go regularly. And so you sort of get to know the people there. And so, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I started doing it regularly for the first month or so. I did, a, I did three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now I'm doing five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So every, every weekday, um, because I want to really start getting a daily thing in. Um, and I'm actually going to add something a little bit simpler on Saturday, Sunday, um, uh, that I'm hoping to start tomorrow cause it's today's Friday. Um, but that's, I can go over in, in another episode, but I want to talk about more about CrossFit cause I'd never done CrossFit before I'd heard of it. I'd seen it. Um, but I never really understood what it was and I really quite like the ideas, uh, behind it. Um, and so, like I said at the beginning, it is a lot about a functional movements. Um, and so the idea is that there's lots of different things that you do in the cross in CrossFit that strengthen you to be in, in ways that are useful for the real world, essentially. Um, and so a lot of people that are really good at CrossFit or have done a lot of CrossFit aren't necessarily like the strongest or they don't look the most strong or the, the buffest necessarily. Um, but they are probably very good at those functional movements that might be very useful in, in like day to day life. My day to day life is pretty simple. I mostly walk around and sit down all day. So like, I don't really need any of that, but um, those movements are still things like jumping and doing pull-ups and certain kinds of weights and that sort of thing and running. 
And so I quite like that aspect. It's not necessarily that you're just trying to lift the heaviest weight. You're trying to do a lot of different things under fatigue uh, or um, in, in a difficult order, that sort of thing. And so I really like that aspect. It's not necessarily for everybody um, because if you want to be just the strongest person, right, it's not gonna be the thing for you. Or if you want to do uh, muscle, targeted muscle growth, right, that's also not the same thing. It's not the right thing for you. Um, but I'm really enjoying it because it's a nice, I feel like it's a nice mix between like a game, like a thing that I'm trying to do better at because um, that's why I really liked jujitsu because it was a really good workout and it was interesting and, and difficult to improve. Um, but then I also like the aspect of like getting a solid, like full body workout in. And so this is a, a really great middle ground or really it's, it's a good at both of them. I feel, um, the, and that I also, that idea is that of high intensity is that things are very difficult every day. Like I am usually very tired at the end of each day. Like just to give an example today, um, was actually a fairly easy day. It was a a day focused more on strength because yesterday was was really um, long. Um, I ran almost 5K, uh, 5,000 kilom- 5, meters, five kilometers. I was like, that didn't sound right. I ran 5K yesterday, uh, but it was actually like split up. So there was 600 meters of running and then you do a bunch of these workouts, 600 meters, da, da, da. Um, and so I got to 5K. The actual target was to get to five and a bit more um, in 40 minutes, which is very fast. Like they were like, yeah, you're not, you can't, probably can't finish this. That's totally fine. Um, but then usually Friday is a little bit lighter, focus more on strength. And so today, let's see, we did a short series of uh, snatches and that's where you have the a big bar. So those are the bars that weigh 45 pounds. Uh, that's also something funny. Even here in Mexico, uh, CrossFit is done in pounds uh, or pounds and meters. So, um, no pounds and inches. Actually, we do the running in meters, but the uh, but like the boxes are counted in in inches, right? Twenty four inches, thirty inches, um, because it is an American sport. Um, and so, theoretically, all over the world, that all of the gyms use pounds because that's the that's the base uh, weight for CrossFit, which is sort of weird. But anyway, so we you, so we started with some strength things where you do. We did 10 rounds of this where you do one, what's called a uh, like a snatch pull, where you basically just pull up the bar sort of halfway to your legs, to your like waist. Um, that's sort of to practice the movement. And then you do a full one where you pull it to your waist, then you bring it above your head, you squat down, and then you finish above your head. Um, and so that's like bringing a very heavy bar from the ground to above your head with a squat. And like a, it's called a snatch squat. Um, so you do one of the pulls and do one of the squats. Um, then you have a break until the rest of the minute is over. Then you add some more weight and then you do that again. Uh, we did it where you did uh, basically twice at one weight, twice at another weight, twice at another weight. So five different weights getting heavier and heavier and heavier um, to, to find like sort of a, a difficult way. where you, So you're really trying to uh, make it difficult for yourself. Um, I'm still, I'm not that strong. Um, I mostly just have from being a relatively tall man, I have a bit of a benefit, but like, I'm not actually very strong yet. Um, but I'm really trying to focus on a lot on technique, technique, a technique and that sort of thing to really, uh, build up that, that core. Cause like, my goal isn't necessarily to be stronger. Um, that is not my interest. My, my interest is, is health being very, uh, active. And then also I, I do want to look good. That is also a big reason I do this. After that, we also did another series, which is a lot harder, which is three snatches, uh, snatch squats at a pretty, pretty heavy weight. I was, I was doing 95 pounds and then you do three of those and you do ten, uh, 10 wall ball shots, which you take a, a heavy medicine ball. So mine was 14 pounds. You squat all the way down and you throw it a pretty, pretty high above your head, probably like three meters in the air. Um, and then you do that 10 times and then you do that whole thing. So three plus 10 plus three plus 10 plus three plus 10, 10 whole times in as little a time as you could. Um, I felt really good. I actually, I did it in 10 minutes and 38 seconds. And so I felt really like I, I give my all, I was, it was pretty heavy. Um, and I really, so that's also something I really like about the, about CrossFit is that you are, 
um, definitely competing to do something for yourself, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, I want to give it my all. I want to do this. Um, and so I really like that aspect of it as well. But um, yeah, so CrossFit is not for everybody. But if there's a CrossFit gym in your area and it sounds interesting, I would recommend trying it out. It is, I, I, it's more fun than it might look of just like lifting weights and stuff, especially if the trainers are good, if the, um, if there's a good community there and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, oh, can keep it. A, uh, don't step on the my. Don't stop the recording. Um, I, my cat is almost stepping on my keyboard and I don't want him to stop this recording. But I mean, we are done. So I'm going to roll the outro and say, thank you very much for listening to this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and if you do some kind of exercise or CrossFit, let me know down in the comments below. But I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.